Dr. Gina here for WD, and I'll tell you, uh, this is, you are one of my favorite people to interview. Can you hear me in there? Okay. <laughs> yes. okay. Uh, because you come prepared with props. Who else do I get to interview with props? Nobody else has props for me. Bob Dorigo Jones, uh, Wacky Warning Labels. And uh, you have to tell us, um, what are you doing with all this stuff? Right. The Center for America sponsors this contest exactly because we want people to know how America is changing because of all the lawsuits we file against one another. So the warning label on this set of uh, headphones actually says this will impede your ability to hear other sounds when you wear it. Well of course they'd probably get sued if it didn't. But we hold this contest every year and we go on John Stossel's show, we let his audience pick the three grand prize winners and this year the grand prize winner was found on a common... Should we do a dun -da -da -da? Yes. yes. For a $1,000, the person who sent us this got $1,000. This is a common household extension cord but it says wash hands after using. Yes, well of course. Now, that, that makes complete sense right. to me, yes. Who, who would do that? But w <laughs> millions of these are sold. Nobody ever washes their hands after using it, and they wouldn't have to worry about that. That's the point. The, the, the warning labels driven by fear of litigation are scaring Americans, and they're actually causing people to read warning labels less. So the warning labels that we do need, because there are a lot of those too, we're not reading because we say, well, we know all this stuff is common sense anyway, so we throw it away. <laughs> so this is this is a California uh, particular warning label because if there are any chemicals in that at all that might be considered hazardous potentially ever in your entire life, then they put that on the label, and so that's why they want you to wash your hands. Um, and and you've got another one here for us. This is a common dust mask. We've all seen these. Cost about a dollar or two dollars. It says warning does not supply oxygen. Oh, thank goodness they told us that, because I would have perfectly well thought that supplied, you know, I thought it would probably drop down from my ceiling, right? right? And right. I just grab it and put it on the child first, right? Well, in a country yeah. with one lawsuit filed every two seconds, you have to constantly be looking over your shoulder for the next lawsuit if you make a product. We talked to a guy last year who made one of the most popular uh, kitty litter scoopers in America. He didn't have that warning label required by California, and he's being sued now, and he could lose his business. The product is completely safe, and that's the other thing. Warning labels need to... Uh, protect us from unsafe products or things that we don't know about but we're getting lawsuits today over things that are just totally common sense like a scooter that says moves when used well the lawyers are happy though Bob the lawyers are making out like bandits and that's the truth and everybody else is paying for that every man woman and child in America today pays a lawsuit tax of about one thousand seven hundred dollars a year even if they're never sued the, the people who make these products are passing those costs on to us, whether it's um, product makers or doctors in, in uh, hospitals. They have to pass on the cost of being sued, and that costs all of us. Unbelievable. So uh, so this year's uh, upcoming contest, uh, what can we expect? Yes, well, every year we think we've seen the craziest one, and next <laughs> year we've already got some really good ones. But your um, viewers will have about three months left um, to submit labels. Go to centerforamerica.org and see how to register. Awesome. And then uh, ultimately, is there is there any effort to really fight this ridiculousness? Well, that's what we're trying to do. We, it's a multi-pronged effort. You have to raise awareness first so people know it's an issue. And then when they vote for judges or vote for members of Congress or state legislators, they need to know that they're voting for candidates who believe that frivolous lawsuits are a problem and that they're going to tackle this issue. And serve on juries, too. That's another big issue, the way that people can help. All right. All right. Awesome. Bob Dorigo-Jones, thank you so much for being with us.